everyone, welcome to another episode of Walkthrough Wednesday, something a little different. If you'll notice the scenery behind me has changed. We're actually at our RV show. It started last weekend, it's going through this week, today is Wednesday obviously, and it's going through to the end of this weekend. So we've got 30 some campers here, we've got travel trailers, we've got fifth wheels, we've got toy haulers, they've got an additional show discount. A lot of our competition is here as well, so you get a variety to look at, even though I think you're going to come back here anyway. I want to take you guys for a tour of one of our travel trailers. It's one of our Ibexes, and I absolutely love it. Let's go take a look. So this is the Ibex 19 MBH, and this thing screams rugged in my opinion. I love it. It's, it's just such a cool, different look to it. As you see on the outside, we have a massive powered awning that does have LED lights. We have an outside cooktop grill. We'll get to the back here in a minute. We do have the solid steps. We have pass-through storage up here at the front. And on the other side, there's a couple features that I wanna point out. And the paper does a way better job than what I'm gonna do. So it does feature a queen size bed. All of your tires are all-terrain tires. They're nitrogen filled, which is pretty cool. You actually have the off-grid package on this, so it does feature solar. And you've got a cool rooftop rack system, so you can take your boats or your kayaks or your bikes with you. You also have a central vac system, which is common in some, but not all. And we'll talk about that a little bit when we get on the inside. But as you see, it's got a really cool pattern on it. It just screams outdoor adventure, in my opinion. Let's go take a look on the inside. So before we go on the inside, something I wanna show you on the outside, we feature this on all of the units. We've got our pricing and a tow guide. So this is a retail price, our normal discount. So this is something you would see if you come visit our store there in Newcastle. But then we also show our show discount and every unit's different on the show discount, but that's gonna give you your price here as well as your monthly payments. But we also feature examples of what kind of vehicle you're gonna to need to tow this with. We're coming in at 4,134 pounds, so we're on the light side, so you do have a large options of vehicles to tow this with, and it still has a ton of room on the inside, which I can't wait to show you. I talked a little bit about this. This is really cool. You can put your bikes and kayaks on the top, but what's really cool is this bed will actually fold up, and this is all storage area. So if you're not using this bunk, you've got a nice storage area, it would fit a bike in here, but let's just say you needed to put some extra stuff in here in transit, and then when you got there, you take it out, you put the bed back down, you close it off, you're set, which I think is really cool. On the back, we do have a ladder. It's a little bit hard to see, but that means it is a fully walkable roof. Of course, you've got your rack and stuff up there, which that makes sense, but that's also gonna make it easier for getting up there and cleaning and maintaining. Let's go take a look on the inside. Here we are inside the beautiful Ibex. To my left, we have our Murphy bed configuration. So during the day, we've got a couch, We've got our end tables on both sides. They do have storage, they do have charging. But at night, we can fold this down. We now have a bed with nightstands on both sides as well as the his and hers closet. And this is a great space saver in your smaller campers when you want that additional space during the day or maybe if you have a crummy day weather-wise and everybody's stuck hanging inside. Our kitchen area, as you see, we've got storage up above as well as down below. We've got a nice, deep, circular sink a flush mounted stove, two burner stove, and what's really cool is you can use this for prep space or serving space. Microwave down below, and then you see our refrigerator right there. I alluded to earlier your central vac system. You don't need to bring your broom and your dustpan and all that stuff. Just drag the hose out, sweep, put the hose up when you're done, boom, done. We've got our booth dinette, so this will turn into a bed. We've got a lot of sleeping options in this between the Murphy bed here and the bunks that I'm gonna talk about in a minute, but that will turn into sleeping, and you do have some additional storage up above. The double over double bunks are really cool. We talked about the outside, or we talked about the bottom bunk from the outside, but you see you've got ample room there and on the top, and whoever gets the top bunk actually gets a nice window. I think there's a small window on the door for the bottom one, but in the down configuration, you do still have some storage option there, which is nice. And then last but certainly not least, we have our bathroom. So we have our stand-up shower, toilet, and then we've got a nice sized uh, countertop area for your sink and to put all your stuff. Storage below, as well as a medicine cabinet for storage. 
One last thing that I don't want to forget. Everybody says, where's the TV? Voila, right there's the TV. So you can spin that around on the swivel and watch it wherever you want in here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough Wednesday. Like I said, if you catch this soon enough, the RV show runs through the rest of this week and weekend. Come take advantage of our awesome show specials and see all the different units. Maybe you and your family are a little indecisive on what you want. There's nothing better. Uh, we bought our camper five years ago at one of these shows and it was great because we got to walk around and really sample everything and it was warm. It's freezing cold outside, it's warm in here. Have a great day and as always, if you have a question, leave a comment down below.